Hey there, this is Mike from Mac Digital Media and it is February the 9th, 2019. I have another uh, quickie uh, tip or tutorial for you just as far as uh, just some methods for uh, trying to make your editing go smoother for you. Uh, and in this particular case, uh, recently I had to go through on a job, I had to go through tons and tons of B-roll uh, for, which is it's fairly common for projects. I'm going to go through the B-roll and see what you have and what picking your favorite shots and that type of thing. Um, and, you know, you'll have a whole bunch of clips that you want to go through. Well, you know, lots of times if you have natural sound on the clips from, you know, the camera mic, uh, in this case you have aircraft engine noise or whatever, um, you know, as you're going through all these clips, you know, you may or may not want to listen to that. Uh, that audio. So the question is, is, th is there is there an easy way for you to mute the source side of things? Well, there's that's the thing. Unfortunately, there is no uh, there is no keyboard shortcut that you can assign it to to make it easy to just toggle back and forth. Other than maybe muting your speakers um, off your keyboard, that type of thing. Um, but say, for instance, if you are like me and you listen to music on, I usually listen on uh, Spotify or on Pandora on the computer, um, I'll listen to music as I'm going through all the clips. It just makes it easier for me to go through, you know, lots of clips quickly. Um, plus, it kind of gets me in the mood of the whatever the subject matter is or maybe if it's not so visually interesting it really kind of keeps me going and that type of thing and one of the things I like to listen to is is um, like movie soundtrack music or game soundtrack music um, on like Spotify and I'll play some music you know with no no lyrics to distract me and I'll just play it in the background as I'm cruising through a whole bunch of footage but the thing is I don't want to listen to um, you know any of this nat sound while I'm listening to my music <laughs> so uh, you know gotta have your priorities <laughs> but anyway um, naturally if you were doing this for an interview uh, and you were going through um, sound bites or that type of thing obviously that's the most important thing and you have to focus on what's being said and, and you know that sort of thing so um, you could always play orchestral music in the background if it fits you, you know, that type of thing, if it suits you. But um, uh, whenever you're doing B-roll and, like I say, when you want to mute this audio, what's what are, you know, some ways that you can do that? Well, in the case of the, the actual, you know, program side monitor, if you say we're one that, in, I've done this before myself lots of times where I'll I'll string out a whole bunch of, say, um, say B-roll and then I do cut downs on it uh, to get my selects that way. So if you were to be doing this in the, the actual program timeline here and you've got a, a number of shots that are strung out, it, the simple matter is all you have to do is just mute the track and then there you go, no problem. Uh, and you can be playing your music in the background. Um, the thing is when you actually are going into the source monitor, there really is no source mute, at least not in the timeline that's very you know quick to access at least not here so one of the ways that you can can do that is there's something called an audio clip mixer and you access that down through uh, the windows menu and you turn it on it's actually turned on here but so we can access it and this is what it is it's the it's the volume control or the fader that's for specifically for the clip that you're watching this source you know and one thing I like to do is actually position it where I can very easily see it. So I can click click and drag it to, say, the side of where your source monitor would be and let go. And now you have that fader is right there with this particular clip. So now you can see that you know, things are happening with that. So what you can do is you can just easily mute that right here. And now audio is gone. Okay, well that's okay if say you've got like a, a you know, a B-roll shot that's, uh, you know, maybe they were, they were rolling on a long thing and they're going through and these clips are really long and, and you know, that kind of thing. So you would just 
scrub through it and you know find your shots and sub clip them and do the whatever you need to do um, and then you would just go on to the next clip which was now going to be you know uh, it will actually be my brother um, <laughs> it will be um, you know once again it's unmuted so you'd have to again mute it that type of thing so you'd have to do that as you go through these shots and well you know maybe it's not worth having to mute each individual shot every single time you know that you um, are you know uh, going through stuff just to listen to music you know that seems to be a lot of extra work um, so there's another way that you can actually um, mute several clips and especially if if you're maybe you're doing something that perhaps you're setting it to music and you anyway maybe you're doing it to some other music eventually or maybe you just don't use uh, the natural sound off the um, uh, that particular you know the camera and you aren't going to use the audio anyway what you can do is just turn off the audio on the clip and that's really easy to do by just simply selecting the clip that you want to affect right clicking and then going to modify audio channels and then you would just turn off the left and right channels here now you know you, what you can do is a, you can make yourself a preset for that and what you would do is you just turn them off and then up under the presets go ahead and just uh, you essentially use this icon here which save the current uh, preset and you could say perhaps say all off and now save it as a preset so when you actually I guess I didn't quite turn them all off but let me do it again here you can save it here all off gonna overwrite the old one and anyway so so now you have everything already easily to just turn all off at one time with the preset when you want to go back to the original way the file was you just say use file and then it does it so back and forth you can turn it off turn it back on again and just hit OK and that verifies that command so if you wanted to do say a bunch of different clips that you had and you want to just mute the audio on everything you don't want to have to hear the audio at all you just go into modify you multiply select them uh, you know shift click and then shift select and then you go into modify audio channels and then again you could use your preset here for all off and turn it off and then now anytime you put the audio in you know uh, in the source monitor it's going to be off so you'll probably just have to you know I mean if you ever want to use that audio again in the project that you're currently working on if you say you know if you decide you do want to do it or if you say use a sound full of somebody chatting or makes it makes a comment or something in the b-roll uh, then you can just simply turn turn that particular clip back on again and uh, modify audio channels go back up to uh, use file and now go back into it and the audio probably have to reload it again here and all is going to be there again so anyway um, hopefully that is something that could be useful to you if you like to listen to music while you're working um, you know anyway there's a, there's a number of different ways that you could do uh, do that exact same thing I like to do it just makes it go faster looking for shots and stuff uh, but anyway hope that helps you have a good one